Well, hello. It's been a while. How is everybody? Today was shopping day. So, um, because I've had such bad experience with my meat lately, I am cooking it up all right now. I'm making some hamburgers. And with my favorite veggies, which is onions and mushrooms. And, um, I bought like two pounds of hamburgers. Cooking that all up. Finally feeling somewhat better. Um, I was really struggling at work today. I just didn't feel good at all. But I made it, and then I went to the store because it is the first, and stocked up on all of my drinks because I do. I've determined I have chronic dehydration, <laughs> so um, I need to make sure that I've always got um, plenty of drinks. Every time I get my blood taken, it shows that my kidneys are not doing the best my numbers are always a little too high so i'm trying to increase my um my fluids and got some bratwurst i love bratwurst do you guys like bratwurst i love it so i got that right there and then i got some cheese baby swiss cheese and some ham I thought I didn't like him, you know, but then um, when I do um, prep at work, there's always one slice left over because <laughs> you're only supposed to put two slices on. So I wind up eating it. I mean, I'm not going to throw it away. Might as well throw it away down my throat, right? <laughs> and I actually do like it. So I decided, hey, I'm going to go back to ham and baby Swiss. I usually like to eat those when I'm hungry, like as a snack, I'll take a piece of ham and a piece of cheese. Then I got my favorite DiGiorno bacon and stuffed. And extra crispy crinkled french fried potatoes, which I haven't gotten in years. So, um, they used, back in the south, they had these in boxes and you could do them in the microwave. But they don't have these up here, which is kind of sad. But I got some Stouffer's lasagna that I like. My pagoda egg rolls. The chicken ones are terrible, but the pork ones are really good. And then, of course, I always get one ice cream. And um, that's about it. So, I hope everyone's doing good. I know it's been a while since I've posted. Just been feeling really, really bad. Um, uh, between Elizabeth's birthday, which is always hard for me. Yeah, I know it's been 22 years, but you know... When something is such a major part of your life, it, it doesn't go away. You know, the pain doesn't go away. Um, but, uh, you know, I try not to talk about it. You know, I try not to, um, you know, feel bad about it because, you know, she has had a good life thanks to her stepfather and... Um, she appears to be doing well, so I'm happy for her, you know. I just wish I could have been a part of her life, but that's okay. That is okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got a new addiction. These sugar cookies, the strawberry ones are amazing. I also got the chocolate ones, so I don't know. You know that. I start my physical therapy tomorrow. Thank goodness. You know, when I was walking, I was doing so well, no matter what I ate. Because I was walking every day. I was burning off calories. And I was doing good, you know. But once my back started hurting again, that was the end of it. So, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. To getting some more exercises for my back and my flexibility, which... My doctor says I have zero flexibility. <laughs> so I said, all righty then. I guess we will do physical therapy and get myself back in order. So I can start becoming more limber. And maybe a little less heavy. So 
Anyway, I'm tired. And I'm waiting on my food to be done so I can pack it up in the Pyrex dishes. It's 1040 and I'm getting ready to eat dinner. <laughs> you know, when I go to work, I come home, I put away my groceries, I catch up on YouTube in the Summer Wells case. And, you know, any drama that's going on. And then I go to into the bedroom, watch YouTube and fall asleep. <laughs> that's pretty much my schedule. Wake up, go to work, come home, go in the bedroom, watch YouTube and fall asleep. And then I wake up about usually around 9 or 10. Today I woke up about 8 o'clock. So um, this is my beautiful little table with all my loved ones and favorite people around me. Mr. Adam McIntyre. He's really growing in the community. He's up to 200,000 subscribers. And he really didn't start the drama until last year. So within a year, he's gotten 200,000 views. And I think it's because he's young. You know, he's vibrant. He's funny. He cusses. You know, he tells it like it is. And he's just done really, really good for himself. So, um... So proud of that little boy. He's not little anymore. He's 18. So um, he's living the life and good for him, you know. And these are all my peoples. And I am going to go have some dinner. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the night or day, wherever you are in the world. I love all of you, my Australian friends, my England friends. And all over the USA. Love you, love you, love you. See you next time. Bye.